I'm doing now. Today you will take part in a warrior of activities and after this lesson you will be able to identify different kinds of migration and its push factors and you will be able to express your opinion about them using English terms and phrases. And now you will let in text. You have a list of concepts related to migration. And you have to match the definitions with the concepts. You have about five minutes to do it. Okay, the next sheet of paper that we have is a diagram. A diagram. You see with these bubbles? Okay. Now, if you see, you have migration at the very center of the diagram. And we're going to divide our migration into different kinds. Illustrate. And your partner has to guess from 
from your story. And he or she says, in my opinion, it is, you should use these phrases, international migration. Am I right? And then you say, okay, yes, you are absolutely right. Negative answers or incorrect answers are unacceptable. <laughs> Only correct ones. Now, so these are related to kinds of migration. The other person will get a card related to a push factor. And kinds of migration are on red cards. Push factors are on green cards. <laughs> In my opinion, it is international immigration. Am I right? Yes, you're right. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Okay. You have self-assessment sheets of paper, so each of you takes that short paper and you quickly write what is asked to you. So if you know at least one social factor, you give an example, and if you know it, give yourself a plus. Could you name four types according to duration? Seasonal, daily, temporal, and permanent. Perfect. Now, according to direction, there are two main types. International and internal. And international could be divided further. Emigration, immigration. Which is the famous one with Lithuanians. Now, and according to freedom, we have two. Voluntary and forced. Wonderful, so you know all types of migration. I hope in Lithuanian you would be able also to say them. Not only in English. And then you have this diagram, which we just revised now. So push factors are economic, social, social political, political, and environmental. Now, if you have to exchange your opinions about migration in general, do you think you would be able to do that in English? Actually, we both wanted to thank you for a very active, productive, and nice lesson and all the efforts you put to make it successful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.